at the end of the day, I don't believe that, I agree, capturing dolphins and, and, and well, to me, I thought the discussion is really about killing dolphins, and, and, and I think that, I think we both agree is a terrible thing. And, and, and there, I'm in 250% agreement that, uh, you know, killing dolphins is not the right thing. But I think that once parks have the animals, they're already there. They're, they're already uh, um, part of the park. And it's not about, again, if you want to compare Ocean Park to other parks, and I know everybody wants to clap and whatever, but we're not for profit. We don't make money. Nobody, no one belongs to Hong Kong, to, to, to the government. And so no one makes money from, from the, from the from the dolphins, they don't have a dolphin show, or, or, or they don't do things because, like Sea World, you're going to make money and someone's going to get rich out of it. There really is. I just want people to understand that in the minds of the of the Ocean Park staff, the Ocean Park people, they really do believe they are making a difference. And 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 please, I would really like for everyone to also think of the other side. Don't just think. I agree with, with what, what Rick says, you know, many of the parks, for, for money, I'm in your camp. That if you have a park, I don't think it's right to, I, I mean, we're going to have competition now. There's a new big park opening just uh, in Zhuhai, which is just across 40, 40, well, an hour ferry ride from here. And it's going to be open sometime next year. Now, they've pulled out all the bells and whistles, I mean, if you want to talk about a bad part, I mean, I haven't been, but I've heard it's unbelievable, and I worry that that, and that's for profit, and they and they have no animal rights people watching them. They have no one, no, you know, no one to to uh, to to worry about. At Ocean Park, we try to balance between the people that believe you should have animals in captivity, the people that don't. There's a lot of people that believe on the other thing. I don't make any money out of it. I, I try to, I'm like in the middle, you know, I'm like the ham in the middle of the sandwich. I'm trying to balance on both sides, really to make sure that we don't do anything wrong. As you saw, originally, in the, before I knew anything, we were originally going to bring polar bears in and, and, and to Ocean Park, and when we were redoing the park and all, because Disney was coming, everybody was worried we'd lose out. And so we had polar bears, we had belugas, we had all these things, and we advise the public that we were doing it and all that, never heard a whisper, never heard anything wrong. No one told me not to bring polar bears in. I happened to be in Japan, and I, again, I'm not a theme park person that much, and we were in, Tom and I were in Japan, we were walking through some of the parks, and I see these polar bears in a, in a small area, big polar bears, walking back and forth, not knowing much about it, but just as a normal person, I thought to myself, it's wrong. And again, we do things, you do things by gut feel. And I, and I understand why I respect your beliefs and respect what you believe in, but I also say, please, don't condemn everybody. I've said this many times, if, if somebody's born into a family of triads or mafia, you know, and the father's a, a triad, doesn't mean the son's gonna be a triad. We do things in the right way. We do things uh, what, the way to the best of our ability. And again, it's not for profit. And I admire Switzerland for what they did, because that's what they believe in, and, and I admire it. But I don't want to impose our belief on, some, uh, on, on certain people. I don't want them to impose what they believe, because in life, if you believe in something, go for it. Can I, can I give you a challenge, Alan? Yeah. <clears throat> you know, since you always the, do. <laughs> <laughs> since you're on the same page with, with Rake, yeah. about the dolphin slaughter, yeah. and Ocean Park is all about education and conservation, can you partner with Rick to educate your visitor about the dolphin slaughter within Ocean Park and make it known to more people yeah. they can contribute to the effort? I think that would there, be There, I start. like that. That I agree. We're not even speaking to my people in Ocean Park. Because seeing the, the, the things there, I'm in your camp because, you know, I never even knew about that until you pointed it out. And there, I, I, I think it's important that the more people that know about it, and in Japan, in Tai Chi, I think they've been doing it for 700 years or, you know, however long. I think it's important that it takes time to educate a young, because the older generation, it's really hard to, you know, they're set in their ways like you and I. 
present in that way, so not, nobody's going to change us. But young kids, they're the future. And the more they learn about maybe it's wrong, and I'm sure they'll give us a million reasons why they do it and, and, and why it's right, and because and, and, otherwise they wouldn't be doing it. I don't believe people just kill a dolphin to kill a dolphin, you know. But uh, I, I, I'm, I'm more than happy to somehow get the message out. We have a